After fermentation, the amount of ethanol produced will be measured using ion chromatography. This instrument first separates the different compounds as they travel through the column seen here. In this simulation, fast food represents individual compounds. Each type of compound will be retained for a different amount of time by the resin in the column. After the column, the compounds will then pass through a detector separately. The chromatogram you see here is a representation of the signal from the detector after a mixture of methanol and ethanol was injected into the system. The methanol has been retained by the column for 17 minutes and the ethanol for 20 minutes. The concentration is determined by comparing the area under each peak to standards containing a known amount. There are many types of detectors and columns in use and many different eluents used to carry the samples through the column and to the detector. These items are selected specifically for the compounds of interest. Other variables such as injection amount, flow rate, and temperature are employed to achieve optimal separation. In this case, we are using diluted methane sulfonic acid as the eluent, a column comprised of a cross-linked styrene divinyl benzene resin that is functionalized with sulfonate groups, and an electrochemical detector with a platinum electrode. Samples to be analyzed are filtered and diluted. The vials are then placed into the auto sampler and the instrument takes it from there. Producing results like these from Penn State's Biomass Energy Systems Design Course.